Welcome to my CBC English teacher. Class 12 Flamingo Deep Water by William Douglas. About the author. William Douglas was an American jurist and politician. He was one of the youngest justices appointed to the Supreme Court of the United States. Theme In this essay, William O. Douglas talks about his fear of water and how he finally overcomes it by his courage, determination, hard work, strong will power, perseverance and the desire to learn. If these are practiced, we can definitely achieve success in all our endeavors. Introduction In this story, Douglas talks about his fear of water and how he finally overcomes it with strong willpower, courage, hard work and firm determination. Once he took courage, the fear vanished. The writer's experiences further confirm the proverbial truth, where there is a will, there is a way. Let's look at this summary. The narrator had developed a terror for water since childhood. When he was three or four years old, the writer had gone to California with his father. One day, on the beach, the waves knocked the child down and swept over him. The child was terrified, but the father knew there was no harm, and so he laughed. The experience bred a permanent fear of water in the child's subconscious mind. Another incident, more serious, increased his terror. The writer was trying to learn swimming in the YMCA swimming pool in Yakima. One day, while he was waiting for other boys, a big boy suddenly played a dangerous prank and pushed him into the water. The writer was terribly frightened. He went down nine feet into the water. When he reached the bottom, he jumped upward with all his strength. He came up but very slowly. He tried to catch hold of something like a rope but grasped only at water. He tried to shout but no sound came out. He went down again. His lungs ached, head throbbed and he grew dizzy. He fell paralyzed with fear. All his limbs were paralyzed. Only the movement of his heart told him that he was alive. Again he tried to jump up, but this time his limbs would not move at all. He looked for ropes, ladders and water wings, but all in vain. Then he went down again the third time. This time all efforts and fear ceased. He was moving towards peaceful death. The writer was in peace. When he came to consciousness, he found himself lying on the side of the pool with the other boys nearby. The terror that he had experienced in the pool never left him. It haunted him for years and years to come. It spoiled many of his expeditions of canoeing, swimming and fishing. It spoiled his pleasures in Maine lakes, New Hampshire, Deschutes, Columbia and Bumping Lake etc. But the writer was determined to conquer his terror. He took help of a swimming instructor to learn swimming. The instructor taught him various actions necessary in swimming part by part. He put his face under water and exhaled and inhaled raising it above water. He practiced it for several weeks. He had to kick with his legs a few weeks on the side of the pool. At last, he combined all these actions and made the writer swim. He learned swimming but the terror continued. So deep was his childhood experiences. What frightened him was the fear of fear. Whenever he was in water, the terror returned. Henceforward, the writer tried to terrorize terror itself. He tried to face the new challenge. When terror came, he confronted it by asking sarcastically as to what it can really do to him. He plunged into the water as if to defy the fear. Once he took courage, the terror vanquished. He faced the challenge deliberately in various places like the warm lake. He conquered terror at last. Question and Answer Question number 1 
Why did Douglas prefer to go to the YMCA swimming pool to learn swimming? Answer. According to Douglas, the YMCA pool was safer compared to the Yakima River. The river was quite deep and there were several cases of drowning reported about it. As against the uncertain depth of the river, the pool was only 2 or 3 feet deep at the shallow end. Though its depth was about 9 feet at the deeper end, yet the drop was gradual and Douglas could rely on it. Question number 2. When Douglas realized that he was sinking, how did he plan to save himself? Answer. When a big boy threw Douglas into the water, he went straight down. He was completely frightened. Still, he did not lose his wits and thought of a strategy to make a big jump when his feet touched the bottom so that he could reach the surface. He even thought that he would lie flat on the surface and finally paddle to the edge of the pool. Number 3. How did the swimming instructor build a swimmer out of Douglas? Answer. The instructor adopted a systematic method to turn Douglas into a swimmer. He first made Douglas shed his initial fear of water by making him cross a pool suspended by a rope attached to a pulley. The instructor held the other end of the rope and relaxed and tightened it from time to time. Then he taught the narrator to breathe while swimming and finally the leg movements and other strokes. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. For more interesting videos, do subscribe to my CBSE English teacher. Like, share and comment. Thank you.